Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel Andrew's Attic. This is an adult channel. All the videos are for adults and not in any way intended for children or meant for children. This is the monthly haul. I said last month we weren't going to have a big haul. I lied. I've got 18 books and a good few supplies to show you. I know. I'm sorry, I'm bad. I lied. But anyway. The first thing I got was I did get another packet of Link Shines. I'm going to stop showing these because I get these every few months because I like them. They're my favourites. Um, they're really, really juicy, shiny, beautiful, So, and they're only a few quid. And there's ten different coloured pens. But I did buy some other gel pens. I bought the a packet of uh, a brand called Mudder. And these ones I think is Two, four, six, eight, twelve. 4, 6, 8, 12. And the only reason I got this is they got a lighter green, which they don't have in the Link Shine. Um, and there's a brown, which there isn't in the Link Shine. But yeah, mainly it's for the lighter green, because I do like to have a lighter to green in my collection. They were about three quid as well. They weren't very much. The next thing I bought was some Sharpie chisel tip highlighter pens. Neons. Beautiful. These were one ninety nine in, in Lidl's. I might pick up another pack. I'm going to try them out later. Um, yeah, so I thought for one ninety nine, put them in my Sharpie box, why not? I had a bit of a depression period in August for some reason and I wanted nothing more than to crawl under the table, build a den and be a child again. So in order to fulfill part of that, I bought myself the 96 count of Crayola, the crayons with the sharpener in the box. Ah! Um, to use, you've got gold and silver and all the normal colours and then some colours like jazzberries. And part of it is you just open it up and you can smell them and oh, if only there was smell tube There they are in there, beautiful. I haven't swatched them. Um, I will. I am going to swatch them and I'm going to put all the yellows, all the blues and so on together, all the reds, all the pinks, all the oranges and so on. I haven't done it yet because I just wanted to get on and have a colour with them and I have coloured half a picture so you won't be seeing that this month because you won't be seeing that in August completed pages because I've not done it yet, not finished it and it's not near enough to finish off. I'm filming this on the 31st and there's two pictures outstanding that I was hoping to finish and haven't but hey, that's life. It's not the end of the world. They'll be going through for next months. So yeah. I think they were 13 quid. I'm not sure how much they were, but they were. Got them on Amazon. The pencils that we've all been waiting for came out this month. Of course, the Monarchs. You will have already seen part one of my first impressions on the Monarchs. You'll be seeing part two fairly shortly. It's finished. I just got to edit it together. It'll be up sometime next week because obviously I've got to get out my haul. It's going up Tuesday, which is the normal day for it. A completed pages are going up Wednesday, which is the normal day for colour and chat. So I'm probably going to put up um, the Black Widows on Thursday. Just gives me a day off from filming on Wednesday to do something else. So yeah, they're not in here now. I've actually put in here my spare sets of uh, Black Widows and Scorpion. Yeah, so so that they're not, yeah, just it's a nice big tin. The last supply I bought was the 120 count of the Lumache, Lumache watercolour brushes, brush pens. So it's got a fine tip and a brush tip. Apparently you can use these with water, but I think it depends on the kind of paper. It works better if you use a proper watercolour paper. I tried it on the swatch book and it really didn't work. Um, I am working on a first impressions for you as well, um, but I've still got another two-parter of pencils come in before this one comes and so be a one-parter and that's castle arts and after this one that's it so if there are any supplies you want to see me do a first impression on let me know so I can start saving up for them if it's a bit more expensive than others so just let me know if there's anything you want me to review or um, get and do a first impressions on I do have the Marco Ruffines and the Faber Castell, Castell Classics to do um, budget pencil review on. That will be coming as soon as I catch up on the rest of these. But if, say for instance, you want to see me do something with another brand, um, that's maybe not too expensive, but you know, mid price or cheap, let me know and I'll um, have a look at how much it is. And if 
was a bit more pricey I'll set your payment up for them but yeah there's 120 colours in there they are absolutely stunning colours I will admit the colours are beautiful but uh, I'm not going to say anything else about those you'll have to wait until I put first impressions up which will be in a few weeks time on to the books now the first book I got was free I only had to pay shipping for it and I got it from Colour with Claire who was getting rid of some books that she didn't want anymore so all the books that she had had one page done in it because she'd been sent them for review so I'm quite happy to have that with one page in it done in it it's not a problem so I got from her Tanglewood Collector's Art Edition and like I said she's done one picture in here she did that one but yeah it's really pretty it's really nice thick card so I'm thinking that I'd be able to use my ink tents on this if I wanted to and that's probably what I'll do I don't know when um, so that's the first book I got I haven't got the normal edition of Tanglewood now I've seen it I might get it because I quite like it and I know there's another two in the series so that's the let me just move those pens, pens out of the way so that's that one um, the next book I got from another person but these were I paid a little bit for them I got two books by an artist called Adrian Trafford Adrian uh, Lady um, the first one's called The Journey Companion to the Journey Oracle so, like that. so they're really really nice pictures if you want to flip through I can certainly do that for you it is double sided but the paper is quite thick um, might be able to use like watercolours on them or non-alcoholic marker markers um, the limousine brushes might work on them I don't know yet but they're really nice pictures so if you do want a flip through of this let me know and I will definitely do one <laughs> yeah and the second book I bought was a Dover colouring book so as you know these are double pages and this is the Tarot Designs colouring book so I like tarot cards so I've got a set and again I can do a flip through this if you want to see it just let me know down below there we go so those four ones I bought off of the Facebook buy and sell group which is mainly a UK based group but they do have international people on there it's just those ones were just shipping to the UK on to the Jade Summer purchases for August there's quite a few because I ordered some last week and they weren't supposed to come till tomorrow till Wednesday when you know when you'll be seeing this no, you'll be seeing this on Tuesday. They weren't supposed to come till Wednesday, the 2nd of September, but they came today. Um, not the first one, I've had that one for a while, so I'm not going to go into that. So the first one I got was the one to go with the Crayolas, was the Kids Colouring Book Space. And this is the one I'm colouring, I'm actually doing a cover picture. And it's a really sweet colouring book of just kids stuff. It's a little bit too detailed because, again, this is one of their ones that wasn't very successful. Um, and they said it's because it's too detailed for kids but Jennifer just loves well she scribbles over everything at the moment but she is trying to colour in things so if she sees the circle she'll try and colour the circle in so yes that's the one I'm colouring in at the moment with the Crayolas so I'm actually going to put that to one side because it's got to go in my whips for next month because I will finish it so that's why it's just went on the floor I got the steampunk one you'll have seen a flip through of this on the channel that's already up we're already eight minutes in and we're only on the fifth book. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm terrible. But I do like my colouring. It's my main hobby now. I don't read very much. I don't get much chance to read, mainly because I'm colouring. I can't do photography because it's very difficult to do with a two-year-old. And even if I did take pictures, I don't have to find time to edit them. So, yeah, I like this again. Two pictures of each. Um, yeah, it's a really nice book. I'm going to colour in this one soon. I don't know if it'll be this month, but I definitely will. But like I always say, if you want to see me colouring in these books that I show you today, just leave me a comment down below and I'll happily add it to my list. Next Jade Summer one was one that came out last year, which was Autumn. I think it was last year and I didn't pick it up. I don't know why. I think it came out the same time as the cute Halloween one did and I didn't get it. I got the Halloween one instead. Autumn Blessings. I'm going to I'm gonna colour in this with markers, mostly like the Super Tips or the Twi Markers or the Limoges really sweet pictures autumn blessings i like that i think it's really nice that one. so there's that one so i've been buying a few of the older ones so i also got fantasy kids which i quite like and again like i said if you want to see me color in it let me know so yeah I'm trying to get a few of the older ones especially if they have a week where they don't put one out I didn't put one out this week which is why I ordered a couple 
and the week before it was colour by numbers and I'm not big on colour by numbers I know some people love them and that's fine and it's a really nice pattern but but I don't like it the fact that you can see the the numbers through the, the whatever you're colouring with I got stained glass flowers now you might say well you've got stained glass flowers but they've put out two different editions of stained glass flowers this is the different one so I haven't coloured anything in it yet because I just haven't got around to it yet but I have got the other one and actually the other one this is the other one here I've got out to colour in so that's the one I got this month and that's the one I already had I've got that one out to actually colour in but I haven't got around to it yet I will do but I really like these I think they're really nice I, it's like I said I would love to see one of actual church scenes you know, like the, the nativity, and I think that would be lovely. But that's just me, and I'm not even religious, but I think that would look beautiful, because I love stained glass windows. When I ordered the space one, I also ordered the stuffed animals one, because I thought that's really cute. And again, Jennifer can colour in it when she's a bit older. I'm not so OCD that I wouldn't let Jennifer have a go in them. It wouldn't bother me at all. The fact she loves colouring is enough for me. It is so cute. more jade summers is it two more three more two more um i got the princess coloring book again this one's one that came out a while back uh, this is one of the ones that arrived today with two two jade summer and two others and a reading book it's just to finish a trilogy that i've got i haven't really looked through this yet so i don't know i had a quick look and it seems to be two or three or four pictures from each princess story so a bit from uh, Snow White, some from Cinderella, some from Sleeping Beauty, the Sleeping Beauty, and so on. So it's really cute. I like that one. And I got Secret Jungle. This is one of the older ones. I've already got the garden one, Hidden Garden, Secret Jungle, and there's one more forest one, I think. So it's all on the back of the Johanna Baskin's ones, I would imagine, but similar type of titles, but uh, different, you know, and there's an elephant, parrots, monkeys, a tiger, a giraffe, there's some pattern, and pattern ones as well, it was really nice, I thought that would be good, but that's all the Jade Summer for this month, so there's a load more to add to my Jade Summer shelf. I'm trying to sort out my bookcase so that I've got another shelf for colouring books. And it's just simply because I, I'm new, I've got another bookcase, a small one, to put my plays on, so I can have a bookshelf of just Hollywood stuff. And then I've got, it frees up two shelves on the Marilyn bookcase that I don't need at the moment. I won't need for any time soon because they don't, I've got most of them now that I can put some poems on. I bought a Halloween colouring book. Um, I, I didn't know what to get and I, I like the cover in this one and it's not got anything particular on it. It doesn't say an author, I don't think, or an illustrator. It's just called Halloween Colouring Books for Adults and it says this book belongs to... But the difference is the pictures are on the left rather than on the right. There's just a, a blank page which is very odd. But for me, it's perfect because being left-handed, I always get caught up in the middle and find it very difficult. And I have to work right to left. And of course this bit gets in the way, so this way I can work right to left and it won't get in the way. So there's no author on here, maybe it's just clip art, but if it is, it's very good quality clip art. I don't know, you know, whether they've taken it from other people's books because that kind of looks familiar but without the without a face you know it's all different styles so it, it's possible that it's been ripped off but there's no name on it so I don't know no name on it at all and there's a few of these types of books Halloween but I just I was surprised when it, it came in with the pictures on the left which I'm really pleased about for myself I got uh, Deborah Muller Halloween Darlings. I don't know when this came out. It's one I haven't got, but I thought I need a Halloween by Deborah Muller. She's got quite a few of them out. Um, I might do a flip through this one. That looks like one of the winged monkeys from The Wizard of Oz. Love it. This I quite like this one. Ready for Halloween. I like that, yeah. So it's that one. 
guys don't panic we are near the end i know we're 15 minutes in but we are near the end there's another one two three five to go <laughs> sorry i thought we were near the end of that <laughs> i picked up um august reverie by chinthaka hirith i am in the, her fan group the fan group for this artist but uh, I, these are the first time i've picked up the books and I actually really like the pictures. The paper's really thin. I suppose it's Amazon paper, but you can, you can get them on Etsy and print them up yourself. But oh my God, they're detailed, they're beautiful. That one. And although there are three, I did pick up part two, August Rivery 2 Epic as well. Not because I was trying to get them all, because I know there is another one. It's just that these two came up and I will get the third one and some of the other books by this artist at some point. I do like him. Um, it's very like Hannah Cowles and some of the designs, but that's cool. That, that one. I love this one. I think that's beautiful. That's absolutely stunning. Some of these pictures are beautiful. That one's gorgeous too. Absolutely stunning artwork. Looking forward to getting stuck into that one. I'm not going to lie. Colour in Heaven. God, it seems like months and months ago we got this one. Fantasy Cat Special by Jeff Hain. <laughs> I've coloured one in this, which you will be seeing later on, obviously. And there is a flip through up, as you know. Waiting for the next one to come, which is their Halloween edition, my favourite. I have coloured one in there. I will colour more in there. It's just at the moment, I've just done more one. So, and on the back, you do get to, to colour the back in as well. So if you want to. I never colour covers in. I like leaving them white, but that's just me. I got, finally picked up Daydreams by Hannah Carlton. I have got quite a few of her other books, but not this one. I'm missing only spirit animals now of the original lot. There we go. And I really am liking this book. I think it's lovely. Again, look at that. I love this one. This this one here. But I like that style. Oh, look at that cat. So, yeah, I know a lot of people have got this one. I've got loads of the other ones. But I didn't pick up this one until this month. I'm really glad I did. I just got spirit animals to get now and I really have only got to get spirit animals because the next book the last book in the haul is Tales from the Midnight Masquerade now I've done a flip through this but I haven't put it up yet and I had noticed that it is different size as you can see smaller that doesn't mean to say it's any less beautiful it's also thinner but again the paper quality is brilliant <laughs> this is one I can see me colouring every single page in and I might even do it in order I might even just start with this page, do that with gels, glitter gels, and then possibly just work my way through all these pages one at a time. I like the idea of doing this in in order, like I plan to do Ivy and the Inky Butterfly and the Dracula book, um, which I still have got a whip in. I'm trying to get through the whips. My plan for September colouring is... Um, to finish the whips that I didn't finish this month. So uh, I've got one in Jade Summer Ocean. I've got one in the Jade Summer Kids Christmas book. Uh, Christmas book. What am I saying? Uh, the space book. I've got one in there. I've got one in Busy World. I'm not so worried about because that's one I just pick up and do a bit every time. Um, I've got the Enchanted Forest to still finish the title page for. And then there's a couple up on the top. So my my thing is, before I actually start anything new, other than anything patterns, patterns are different because I sit and do them at night in bed or when we're doing quizzes. Um, but anything... So I've got a really bad head at the moment. Anything... Oh, I've got the Maria Trolley to finish as well. I have not finished that. It won't be in this month. Um complete pages sadly I just haven't had the time so anything else will be I'll try and finish I'm going to try and finish those before I start anything big new other than if it's a colour in chat if it's a colour in chat and somebody re requested Chibi Girls 3 by April Amber so we'll be doing that one next unless it's a colour in chat I'll be finishing off the whips I've got first because I hate having books everywhere with whips in it so my plan is to finish all that first. Anyway, I've rambled on for nearly 20 minutes. I 
I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want to see any flip throughs of any of these books, please let me know. If you want to see me colour in any of the books I've shown you, again, let me know in the comments below. Give this, this uh, video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. And don't forget to comment, share and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Thank you for all the new people that have joined us. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video very, very soon. Bye, everyone.